I feel like I am in a I'm in a a a a, a situationship with Summer. It's like some days she's there for me, some days she's not, and I I don't know what we are right now. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Coach. And this here is Frank. Wearing his Eagles gear, Eagles green, Eagles are playing two games in uh, against Houston tonight. We're playing the Astros, who beat us terribly yesterday. It was a no-hitter. Only the second no-hitter in um, Super Bowl history. And by Super Bowl, I mean World <laughs> Championship. World Series. Yeah, that. <laughs> you can tell I'm a real baseball fan, but it doesn't matter. I don't have to be because tonight also the Eagles go against the Houston Texans. Go check it out. Thank you for coming to our sports show. Is it um they're both in in Texas tonight? No, no, no. The Phillies are at the CBP. Citizens ba- Citizens Bank Park. Ah, for those of you that aren't you know, on a first letter basis, the Citizens Bank Park, one of the best arenas in football. Just <laughs> keeps changing uh according to the sponsor, you know. Yeah. I didn't grow up like that. You didn't grow up? Nah, I didn't grow up like that. It was just, you would name things what well, you, you wanted like, to name it. You had it. like Veterans Field. Yeah. yeah you would name it what you wanted to name it. It's yeah. like, this is going to be, um, I don't know what, Meatball Stadium. Yeah. And now it's like, well, maybe um, Francesco Rinaldi can sponsor it and it'll be Francesco Rinaldi Stadium. And yeah. I understand everyone needs money, but it's just and like, now it's wah, just, wah. now Yeah. And it's just getting, because now you have the, what's that one that just got built in LA for the Rams? SoFi Stadium. And yeah. it's like billions of dollars yeah. and it's like these companies are yeah are so just... for all the little ones out there uh who didn't who never knew there used to be a time when things were not named by uh big uh big money america yeah yeah Vet- veterans field is what you grew up with mm-hmm. they had a uh they had a, a court underneath the stadium with the judge for all of the the fights right right they would just go down there and you'd be guilty <laughs> and uh then you'd get beat up in the back but how you guys doing? It is a beautiful Thursday. It's actually a little too beautiful. Where we live. Where we live, man. It's crazy. <laughs> the weather these days. I, I mean, I don't know where you guys live. And I frankly don't care. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm sure it's everywhere. Where It's like every single year. Like It sounds like, Spencer, stop talking about weather. Oh, we get it. Oh, it's mm-hmm. so warm. But it's like it never ceases to, ceases to amaze me. How far every single year the days trickle in warm. We are going into a 70 degree weekend. I don't know. Uh, I didn't I didn't track the weather last year if it is different. But I don't like cold weather. So I never complain. I don't want the clouds to hear me. I, what if they they forgot to send snow? And, and I'm reminding. Them. You're like the, the kid in school who's like, you didn't give us homework to the teacher. I don't think. Don't say anything. No, Just I, let it go. I love summer. But she left me. Um, I love summer. It's my favorite season. I love the heat. Well, I don't know. It looks like you were looking over her shoulder the whole time for a cold fall. I wasn't. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare it like this. Do you know when people say... Shall I, I compare thee to a summer's day? You know when people say, I hate work. Mm-hmm. I hate work. I hate work. I hate yeah. work. Yeah. And then you get too long of no work. And then you're like, no, I want to do something. I, am not, I need you to stop talking. No. Okay. All right. Because like... Here's, no. Here's my thing. Hear me now. If I lived in Florida, beautiful Florida, sunny days, sunny beaches, you think I'd ever be like, let's just take a trip up to the cold? Yeah. No, I would love it. You probably would. Though. I wouldn't. You would want to go skiing no, or wouldn't. something. No, Snowboarding. never. Snowboarding. Never. <laughs> I ice wouldn't. skating. I wouldn't. Here's my problem. You can actually ice skate in Jacksonville when it is hot out. Well, I'm sure it's indoor. It is. Okay. Well, you can also surf up in Canada when it's cold out. Nobody surfs in Canada. Isn't there like a indoor ocean they made somewhere? Oh, wave pool. That's not in Canada though. Probably not. I think I'm I thinking think it's like in Texas Dubai. again. Oh, it's Texas. I know there's one in Texas because there's this um, little surfer girl. Uh, she's an up and comer, and uh, I love the surfers. Do I? I, don't, I feel like you follow a few. Interesting. Like the one with the eyes. The one with the oh yes, yeah. she's in Hawaii. Um, this girl is on on the mainland of America and much uh, much younger. This little. Uh, Maybe I'm making her too young. She seems very young to me. I forget her name. I want to say Brittany, but I don't think that's it. I'll tell it to you later. Perfect. Off the air. She oh. was surfing at a wave pool. 
None. She's all sponsored. Talk about sponsored. You know, athletes are sponsored. Yeah. yeah. So she uh, has all probably We're rip, sponsored. rip curl. The Bible Gateway. Stuff. Shout out. Yeah. Um, if mm. I lived down in Florida, I would love the outfits, the weather, everything. My problem is I don't live in Florida. I live in Pennsylvania. And I like an extended summer. Don't get me wrong. Don't give me a cold day in September. My problem is it has been cold. Well, I've been wearing, I wore jackets out and was like, ooh, it's cold. Yeah. I can't stand the, I feel like I am in a, I'm in a, 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 a situation ship with summer. It's like some days she's there for me, some days she's not. And I, I don't know what we are right now. And so I go out dressed wrong. I, I don't know if I should heat my car up or, st- I, I need, I need routine. And <sighs> there, was, there, there was a certain point, I'm going to say it was October 15th. When I said, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Give me the, because I, I have, I, I, I bought this need sweatshirt. need you to stop saying no. all of this. Phillies are in the World Series and I went to a It'll tail- be chilly tonight. I went to a tailgate. This must have been two weeks ago. This is in prime time fall. I don't Prime time fall. Care. It is in a sweatshirt just like this one. And I fell out of place because I was sweating. Everyone well, was wearing I wear, t-shirts. And st- I wear a hat in the summer in Florida. I wear, I wear a hoodie and, and a fleece. So don't feel out of place. Stop trying to tell people, to tell the tell the the weather gods that um that they need to send colder weather. You're killing me right now. Well, you know what? Maybe maybe what you're killing me. Yeah. Well, guess what? The Earth is being killed. I'll say it. Well, that's true. The foliage. We 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 live in a place, a, a part of the United States, where people it's it's destination foliage. Yeah. People come to see the changing of the leaves, the beautiful colors. And shapes, and, and as a matter of fact, you were doing an I exercise do at shapes. school today uh, with with the fallen leaves, right? Pick them up, put them <laughs> in a bag. Oh my god, can you imagine pretending it's an activity, but really you're just having the kids like <laughs> pick up what? We did that, and it made me furious. What do you mean? I don't. I don't know if I should be talking. Ill, I don't either. Ill in my school, I'll do it. No, no don't. I'll, I'll do it. Um, I'm the, I'm the baby. They're babies. No. When I was young, in how would I tell you? And then we'll see if I'll cut it out. Okay. The one day we were taking photos at the pumpkin patch. Okay. Let's go out and take photos at the pumpkin patch. And the pumpkin patch was just pumpkins on their property. Pumpkins that are being all in those boxes like you see outside the grocery store. Okay. And then they were at all the kids. Oh, grab pumpkins and bring them over to all these pallets um, because they were going to be for sale all October. Wait, how did how did it be a, ch- a small They're small? Ch- little pumpkins. Oh, well, that's okay. It's like a little. And, no, but, but motivational like, exercise. Yeah, and then it was like uh, all the teachers like, oh, take photos so we can send the parents of them like little cute kid with all the right? pumpkins. It's like, oh, can they have pumpkins? It's like, no, we're selling these pumpkins. Yeah, that's kind of sad. I had them work for an hour and didn't even get them. So uh, they I, should have given them a pumpkin. I you know what I did. What? I'll tell you what I did. What did you do? I went out and um, I took twelve pumpkins. No. And I gave my kids pumpkins. They're not gonna work for an hour for nothing. They're not gonna work in it for an hour for nothing. Good, Spencer. Thank I'm you. glad you did that. Thank you. Twelve pumpkins, and, and they were selling for two dollars each. I'm like, catch me. I'll give. I'll, I'll give you the money. No way. Awesome. Yeah, you didn't tell you. me this. I'm so glad. Yeah. Oh my god, that's those, really funny. Those kids I went home with pumpkins. That that's time. really really funny. Yeah. Um. Even the even the even the household that had the so did the twins each get a pumpkin? Yeah, that was another cute thing I did because I was so cute. Once I had the twelve pumpkins, me and uh, the teacher I work with. Well, they were because I went out when they were napping. We looked at them. We're like, "What are we had? It, we individual like we said the, no. the big one was. It wasn't even the big kid. It was the kid who was like the craziest the personality of the pumpkin went with the, the student. There was two very similar ones, so they went home with the twins. That was really, really take that really child labor. Nice. When once again we'll walk down my memory lane to I I went to a big school um, with lots of students that and I don't know what this was. We used to take shaving cream. Yeah, we used to. Oh, you thing. did that too. It was an end of year activity. What What was going on? And it cleaned the desk. It was, clean, it was like it was fun. Like it was actually, I'm sure. Like if you, if you, I, I smell shaving cream, it kind of brings you back a little bit. Really. Every year at the end of the year, it's like there wasn't really you were done all the curriculum, right? And so one of the final things was cleaning your desk because you you have have gum and. And saliva and oh my god! Cr- you could just say pencil and stuff. You don't have to say all that other stuff. <laughs> and um, so the teacher would go around with shaving cream on each desk. So does shaving cream clean things? Why didn't they give you a cleanser? Because to- you're children. 
too dangerous. Yeah. But shaving cream is safe because it's near your mouth. Yeah, I'm sure it's even it's even edible. I mean, not like it's uh, non non toxic is better than edible. But I'm also like I, I think it was one of those things where the janitor will come in and clean the desk. And actually also, clean it. it's okay. like it's kind of just like a base. Interesting. And it makes the room smell nice and like because it's scented and it's also just like you have nothing to do with the kids at that point Weird. of year. And uh, yeah. Memory unlocked. Memory unlocked. Feel old yet? Yeah. Kids don't have desks anymore. No. Kids uh, aren't even a thing anymore. <laughs> do you remember kids? You went straight to that. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. Um, So we got Phillies. We got Eagles. We got foliage i was saying so we, destination foliage um location and the foliage stinks uh the leaves haven't okay so they didn't turn so leaves turn from green and then they go through the pretty yeah. fall colors and then brown and they fall and they to the ground uh they did they weren't turning they were staying green 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 and then there came a point where they just started to fall and then die on the ground quickly. Yeah. So we did. Get, I mean, I did see some oranges and reds, but it was yellows. It was kind of really quick. It went yeah. from not doing it to doing it to falling. And now, like, we have an oak tree, and there's still tons of green leaves up there. It's probably the temperature. November third. You know, they uh, well, trees don't have calendars. No. They go by like calendars are made out of trees sometimes. That's true. I think a lot of them are like that plasticky material now. No, nah, there's probably more paper calendars in the world than it's probably plastic. paper with a with a little finish on it. Paper or plastic? That I'm thinking about no, because when you rip it, it's paper. No, I don't know. No. You know what I'm talking about when it feels and it feels kind of I, like slick. I do. It's still paper. You're thinking of like the ones you get in a Chinese restaurant, but regular. I've never gotten a calendar from a Chinese restaurant. You get a calendar every January in a Chinese restaurant, and it's rolled up, and is there bamboo on the back? You get you get a calendar. And it's like the Chinese calendar with like the monkey and the ox. No, it's a regular calendar. It's an ad. Like it'll have the name of the Chinese. Oh, restaurant. like how, how Papa John's gives out eagle schedule magnets. Yeah, okay. but Chinese restaurants give out calendars. Interesting. In January. Thank you, Chinese restaurants. <laughs> Chinese American restaurants. I would like to to know more about Chinese restaurants. Oh, there was a documentary. That oh, you- was there? <laughs> yeah. And that's the sponsor of our show. No, I'm serious. There's a documentary. No. I don't know where you could find it. I saw it years ago, but it talked I, about... I, I've, I've grazed the surface of Chinese restaurants. Um, I lo- I have been... Admittedly, I haven't eaten Chinese food. Oh, I'm so jealous. Every single day on break. Because yeah. there's a place right next to my school. The lunch special. It's like you get a meal. Oh. Um, soup or an egg roll. So I get a meal. Uh, You're killing me. For, I can't have it. Seven ninety five. dollars Wheat and meat. I spend more on a Wawa hoagie and I'm getting like chicken, broccoli, rice, yeah. wonton That's soup. That's because they have good connections of where to, to what's that word? Source well, their no, ingredients. Well, no, that, that's back to my original point. I've grazed the surface, learned about this, but like there is an American Chinese restaurant like hierarchy. There where, is a, pi- a podcast. There is a documentary. You can well, watch I'm it. I'm saying I need to watch it. Go ahead. I'm going to. but Literally... You be, you're in the network yes, because you're Chinese. And when you tell them, then they tell you and you don't care. You're from, you're from China. Uh, and, and they'll say, okay, guess what? You, we're going to send you to Nebraska. Yeah. To this. And you're like, okay. That's and a, that's and you go. Yeah, every restaurant. They, ha- they look at the map and they're like. Yeah. Every restaurant is different. But like Chinese restaurants, you walk in, it's the same setup, mm-hmm. the same menu, mm-hmm. the same food. Yeah. Obviously, you know, plus and minus on, on quality level, but. Still, like yeah. you're getting the cons- like, yeah. I've I've seen chain restaurants be less consistent, yeah. than two Chinese restaurants. No, mu- they finance, apart. you know, because you know you, you get your loan through the Chinese bank, yeah. and then it, yeah, it's-, it's almost like a chain in itself without being a chain. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's like fascinating. I have to watch the documentary. You have to watch the documentary, but things like that are wonderful, but they also make it hard for the person who's not in the network. Because yeah. you, you have to charge more and you have to go through, you know, it's harder for you, but yeah. that's fine. But yeah, unfortunately, until so, there is a, there's a Chinese restaurant, um, Goji, uh, in North Carolina that is gluten free. Really? So good. Really? So good that it's so painful that it's so far away from me because um, you you could come with me and you would get gluten stuff. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's not a completely gluten free options. Yeah. Gluten free options. But celiac friendly. 
celiac safe. Celiac we were talking safe. to the uh, actual a young guy. For those of you who don't know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to gluten knowledge you for real quick. A lot of people don't like to have gluten. It's out of their diet. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I give it up. It, maybe it makes my tummy hurt. Whatever. You can if I, you know, was eating something gluten next to you and hand you a fork, wipe a fork off, hand it to you. You can still eat with it. A celiac person is a medical condition where you cannot process gluten, right? Or it does something bad to you medically, medical science, right? And that is like an allergy, like peanuts, where it's like, don't kiss your girlfriend if you've eaten a peanut sandwich, right? And so. A lot of people say they're gluten because, oh, my gluten bakery, I, they use gluten flour. and they. But it's like, was it prepared in the same bowl? Right, gluten-free flour, like, yeah. Like, was, it, was it prepared on the same table? Right. Did, did it, like, it needs to be as if you have a, you know, you know like, a, on certain foods, you'll see often um, a nutless food. We will say prepared in a factory yeah. that also makes nuts. Right. Someone with a severe peanut allergy cannot eat that. Right. Even though there's zero nut product in it. Yeah. Same thing with celiac and celiac. Cross contamination. That's why I asked. Cross contamination. Yeah. And so, um, and there's different levels of celiac. So, like, there's some levels people to this would never, ever, like, so uh, uh, if, if I go to Chick fil A, um, the fries are technically uh, gluten free. Yeah. It's in a facility with, gluten products so if i was super 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 strict i wouldn't even go to chick-fil-a but um if uh, if you go to chick-fil-a you can say uh, i i would like an order of fries and i and then it's a gluten allergy they'll say okay we'll change our gloves so they're <laughs> doing everything and then it's like we have to get the we have to get the gluten-free fries and they take the gloves off they put on clean gloves and they get your they get your yeah, um, I remember people used to do that when i used to work in the food service and they would get them pretty angry well, ah, one of these. I know. We still do. It was never one of those things where it's yeah. like, yeah, sure. Well, the thing is, if people don't do it, and it's sure that gets done, you do, you, know, you just don't go back there. But yeah. like celiacs know which places like uh, that they've there, never been affected. There's, there's, talk about networks. You all stick together. Oh yeah, there's Find Me Gluten Free, which is an app, um, and it it uh it it's like real time reviewing. So your um website might say you're gluten free, but you have all these reviewers who said I got very sick there very or. Sick. You know, but it's not gluten free day. It's uh, it's actually Thursday, and on Thursday we have some little special. It's called Walk Through Thursday. Um, roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun, cause Walk Through Wednesday just begun. What's going on, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday, a great day of the year where we um open up the Bible. It's open. It's beautiful. Look at it glowing. Um, once the Bible's open, we pick a verse out. We're not, we're not going to be reading the whole book of the Bible. We're, we're, we're going to just read one verse and find value in that. And, and we're going to maybe find symbolism in it. We're just going to talk about the real words and it's just, it's a good practice. You know, um, we love this on the show about the overarching themes of the Bible. We think that's really what it comes down to is the entire thing needs to be together. A lot of people You've even stumbled upon some religions to say we only look at this. Yeah. We're not we're, we're not saying that. We but right. we think it's all needs to be together to connect. Doesn't take away the spiritual significance of each and every word. You can have, you know, one and the other. Yeah. And so today is um every other day it's like the entire thing. Today we're looking at specific things. It's fun. It's, it's fun. So come do this before you go and put on that Eagles game. Do this before that. This or that. You can get with this, or you can get that song. Always hurts my soul. Okay. Because um, it was those stupid hamsters. Oh yeah. That were making fun of my car. Oh, you're right. And it was the Kia Soul, and they making were making fun, fun of the Nissan of the Cube. Nissan Cube. And you never see the Nissan Cube. Like they successfully ruined the Nissan. Does the Cube. Soul still exist? One of the most popular Kia models. <laughs> Advertising is very um, persuasive. So is the Bible. So listen up, you chumps. We're reading out of the book of Luke. Sweet. We took a few weeks there going to like the, the sort of obscure books of the Bible that most people haven't re- read. I know. And um, we're not done doing that. But, uh, but we're bouncing back to Luke. We've done Luke before. Luke, you know, uh, not this one. Matthew, Mark, and John. It's the, it's the one thing that I didn't just say. So uh, we're reading Luke 732. Oh, this is fun. Wait. No, we're not reading. Wait, are we reading the one that we circled? 
We're or reading. Start. We're reading Luke seven. You can see how you made that look confusing. I did. When, as I was circling, I thought, he, "What am I doing?" <laughs> <laughs> All right. They are like children. They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling out to each other. We played the pipe for you, and you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not cry. Okay. That's Luke seven thirty two. <laughs> Do we get backstory or anything? Well, first, if I just handed you that paper, what would you have done with the bottom piece? Oh, read it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can if you want. Matthew eleven seventeen. Obviously, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are all the Gospels of Jesus, so they'll have repeating stories in, the, in their own words of right, the they were, disciple. They were audience members at the same time, at the same presentation. Matthew eleven seventeen. We played the pipe for you, and you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not mourn. Um, and that also lets me know that dirge equals a mournful song for the dead. Yeah. So whenever I see it, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are gospels that do repeat, but sometimes they don't. And sometimes something only shows up in one of the gospels. Yes. When it shows up more than once, I say to myself, huh, this is probably something important because yeah. more than one person repeated it, especially yeah. if they repeated exactly. And that's repeated like exactly. Like in school when you're like, this is definitely going to be on the test. Yeah. You brought up E equals MC squared a lot. <laughs> so the backstory. I don't know how many tests of relativity. The backstory of this is, um, first of all, I think this is an extreme. You said this is good. I think it's an extremely hard verse. Um, I just meant because I've been comparing things to children a lot. Oh, Okay. Um, the backstory is that, um, John the Baptist hears that, uh, so John the Baptist is going around and he's making the way for Jesus to come. Right. And then he hears, uh, over yonder, I think he might be in prison at this time, but he hears that this man is out there healing the sick and feeding the hungry and so forth. And so he, John the Baptist sends two people to Jesus and said, John the Baptist tells them, go ask him if he's, if he's him or, it, or should we still keep waiting? Okay. Are, are you the one? So the, the guys came to Jesus, gave him John the Baptist's um, message and Jesus answered, uh, answered them, of course, <laughs> always in a very roundabout way, <laughs> but he answers them and says, you know, well, I am feeding the poor. I'm healing the sick. I'm, you know, and he says all like this. He expl- he says to them what he's been doing. And then he says, like, let those who have ears hear um, whatever. So he doesn't say like, yeah, yeah, I'm the I'm Messiah. <laughs> I'm the Messiah. It's me. Who has two thumbs and the Messiah? <laughs> right. This so guy. so uh, they, but what he says to them, they go back to John the Baptist. When the guys leave, Jesus with is with people who are hanging on his every word so he turns to the people and he says he, he he starts talking about john the baptist because that's what just happened right and he's very very complimentary of john the baptist and he says what a great per you know what no greater person has ever been born to a human woman john the baptist yeah. um is phenomenal but then he he transitions into this and and then he says he says let me tell you about the people of today, though, let me tell you about what the what the current um, climate is here. Yeah. And then he says this. And the reason I say good luck is because I'm confused by it. He says this. He says, let me tell you about the people of today. They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling out to each other. And follows with the exact quote from Matthew and Luke. We played the pipe for you and you did not dance. We sang a dirge and you did not mourn. I got it. Good. Not going to tell you, though. Oh. No, I got it. Okay. Tune in for part two <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. You know, it makes sense. So, first of all, what do chill, like, are children referred to in the Bible as? Like, oh, I have to sneeze. What do, what do children are? Children are innocent. Children are innocent, um, pure. Uh, that, that's more of like the better the, oh. like this is before the Bible, Bible's talking about like the, bad little kids the, no they're, like they're they're they don't know oh need to be taught yeah like mm-hmm. they, they, they are they're like remember like Old Testament of like when they were talking about children it's like you are like children like you you Absolutely. don't you don't listen you yes. don't hear yes and so it's this idea of they did say that yeah you are you are nothing more than children sitting in the market so children calling out we played the pipe for you and you did not so 
did not dance. We sang a dirge and you did not cry. It's sort of like this expectation of the, like it's an expectation. And if you don't do that, then it's like, that, that's weird. You just triggered my memory. Okay. You just triggered my memory. Cause you know, I have no papers today. I, I had to write that one real quick. You just triggered my memory right before he says this. Uh, he says, cause he's talking about John the Baptist and he said, he said, look at John the Baptist. He came, he doesn't, he didn't eat, he didn't drink. And you said he was possessed by demons. Son of man came, he ate and drank. And you said that he was a drunkard and, and, um, and a whatever. And then he goes into this. So, yeah. okay. So yeah, that's funny. But your interpretation triggered me that that is also what was said. Yeah. And, and so it's, it's talking about the people of the day and it's talking about this, this, um, sort of back to the assumption podcast we had yesterday of like them being like especially you know asking like are you the messiah or something and it's like expecting things to be done because you did something like it, it's like um why aren't you laughing i just said a joke right and it's like well, should i be laughing? or oh, i mean that's how, that made it sound awful it's like that made it sound negative it should be like well i did find it funny and like i like uh, you didn't dance when I played the, the oh, song for you. Oh, I like, see. If I don't act the way you expect me to act, am I not still being honest? Yeah. So, like, it, unless you approve of how I accepted your joke, you're not going to believe that I think it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, because like you just, like, I'm trying to. It's hard to compare into like what he's actually saying, but like, just see it as the analogy that it is. Like, so the, imagine the type of person where it's like, like after a concert and and, and you go up and it's like. Oh, I just played music. Did you hate it? And it's like, no, I liked it. It's like, we weren't dancing. Right. And, and like, uh, you, you sing a, a sad song and, and you That's go up. It's like, did you like my song? No, no, did you? Oh, how about my song? It was sad, right? And it's like, yeah. It was like, well, he didn't cry. So were you really sad? It's this, right. it's this sort of like, it's questioning. It is. It does go with yesterday. Yeah. So I was, assume that if I play my pipe, you're going to dance. So what does it mean if I play my pipe and you don't dance? Now I don't know. I don't know what to make of you. Yeah. I don't know who you are. It's, I don't know who he is. Yeah. It's it's this, it's this questioning and this expectation. And it's like with these people that are dealing with the John the Baptist types and the Jesus. Like it's sort of – it's like he's saying I'm here and I'm doing these miracles. He's kind of showing it to you. And right? Like the same the same way it's like we play the pipe for you. And it's like you're playing the song or you are enjoying it. And it's – which happens over and over in the Bible – with he's talking about John the Baptist, but continues with Jesus, and it's like, oh, you're the Messiah. You haven't walked on water, right? That's what you, 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 if you're if you're if you're Jesus, right? Not, or if you're the Messiah, do a miracle. It, right. it, it's this like expectation of, well, then you're supposed to do this, right? Oh, okay, yeah. John the Baptist is is the best person ever. Well, then why doesn't he eat or drink? Sounds like the de- like it's these. Rather than, and I think that's sort of nice, where you're just to like go back of what Jesus was talking about when he was like, doesn't answer it clearly, because that is the expectation. Mm. It's, well, are you the Messiah? And he wants you to be like, yeah, I have two thumbs, and who has two thumbs in this guy? But instead, like, so back to the pipe and dancing, it's like, um, it's that. Did you enjoy the song? It's like, yeah, like I really, I really like that. Uh, that one line over, over there and making all these things like yeah but you weren't you weren't dancing it's like i just i just showed you that I, like I, right. I i didn't leave early I, I was fully attentive and so jesus is saying yeah i'm feeding the homeless i'm gonna do the poor it's like everything's lined up and it's like but you're not seven feet tall right you're just like it's it's this expectation that clouds the minds of everyone and it goes to the those who have ears will hear those who you know, or musically talented will know if their song is emotionally and sad. They don't need people to cry. A funny person doesn't need a laugh to know what he just said was funny, right? right? Like, it's like, obviously, you, you enjoy it. You like to see people dancing right. when you're singing. But right. it's like a, a funny person no, you're right. doesn't need to say, well, why aren't you laughing? It's, that wasn't the point of the joke wasn't to, you know. It's That's a, really it's interesting. A, and it's kind of like the first line, which goes along with Jesus and John the Baptist and anyone in the circle is like, I like when it says we play the pipe for you and did not dance. For some reason, I just thought of like a dancing monkey. Mm. And, you know, like the idea of a dancing yeah, monkey right. where it's like you dance on command. And I kind of like 
I can't even compare it word for word, but I kind of see this parallel of the people of today want a dancing monkey. Yes. And I'm not that. Yes. I'm, I'm not going to dance on command. Yeah, but you know why? Because because the the requests would never cease. Yeah. You know, and so I, like I said, I'm like, oh, why didn't he just say, yeah, go tell John the Baptist it's me, you know? Yeah. Um, but in truth and all through the New Testament, Jesus is always answering in, in this kind of riddle way. Yeah. If he had said straight out each time, it wouldn't have been good enough. It's never good enough. Yeah. So he literally just talks in a way that, you know, what do you think? Yeah. It, what do it, it you leaves, think? It leaves everything uh, interpretation. Yeah. And it's like, and that is sort of the beauty of it. It's also the confusion of it. But, yeah. Um, there's a quote. I don't know who made the original quote. I don't even want to say who I heard it from because I'm not a fan. But um, they said, if people, he was talking about people always saying, um, well, then what about this? Well, what about this? Every time he like makes another, he proves himself again and right. again and again. And he said, if I walked on water, they would say, it's because you can't swim. And it's like, oh, it's always that. It, it'll be that, that change. Yeah, around. And you still, like, absolutely. How, how similar is that to the John the Baptist and Jesus thing where he said he ate and drank. Right. And it's like, right. you're just a drunkard spitting nonsense. Right. John the Baptist didn't eat or drink. And it's like, you're a little possessed, man. It's like, it, you're never happy. It, it's Lawyers are trained. That's why when, when, when you get arrested, never speak. Never, t- no, do not talk when you get arrested. And so your lawyer's with you. It is total truth. Anything you say can anything you say can be held against you and it will be held against you yeah. so when lawyers are trained the, the, these elders of the church were trained that they were ready for anything he said to poke holes in it yeah so then what do you do then yeah. you just have to but take that bible verse however you want it i gotta go i gotta go watch the eagles game and the phillies game phillies in six baby <laughs> that might not age well, but we'll say, go Phillies, go Eagles, go Jesus, Pete. Not in that order. We'll reverse the order. Peace. Okay.